high security in Hong Kong for what are seen as landmark trials. 16 people standing trial for subversion were among 47 arrested in 2020 to 2021. 14 were convicted and two acquitted. I won't say this case is finished because uh, further proceedings is going on. I, I am unable to say too much. Do bear with me. Um, thank you very much for the concern over all the defendants of this case. Thank you everyone for your concern over the years. We see and feel everyone's love. However, due to Department of Justice, there is a possibility of an appeal. So I cannot comment on this judgment or express any opinions about this case at the current stage. Diplomats from the US, France, Italy and Ireland attended the trial, as well as members of the public. The defendants were charged under a national security law imposed by Beijing for taking part in an unofficial primary election organized by democracy supporters in 2020. This conviction really shows what utter contempt uh, the Hong Kong and Chinese authorities have for democratic political processes. I mean, what these people have been convicted of is holding an informal uh, primary vote. You know, that is something that people should not be going to prison for. And yet, time and again, we're seeing the application of the national security law is really designed to smother the democratic movement in Hong Kong. A former British colony, Hong Kong was handed back to China in 1997 and Beijing has since expanded its influence and control. And its imposed laws critics say are curtailing freedom of speech and dissent. The 14 activists have yet to be sentenced, but could face prison terms ranging from three years to life. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.